Hi, my name is Jose Ojeda. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Bitnami, well, the, the Dream Factory installer by Bitnami, and then publish a database. So this is a clean computer. I don't have anything installed yet. So let's start by installing this the Stream Factory from Bitnami. This is taking a while, but this is a virtual machine, so it might take a few seconds. This installation process is really straightforward. You don't have to do as much, but I want to show it so a friend of mine know how to install it. So we're going to leave this as it is. And we're going to type the same password for everything. I'm going to put the port eight. 443 and that's pretty much it in this case I don't have my SQL installed already because it won't work if you already have uh, my SQL database installed so that's why this system is clean and first I set up during factory because I don't know what happened with this starter, but you're not able to change the port where my SQL is going to work, so um, it will uh, crash with your current installation of my SQL if you already have it installed. So that's why I prefer to set up Bitnami first, you know, the Dream Factory setup, and then set up my SQL. So Let's wait for this to finish, but I think I'm going to edit this out because this take a while and I don't want you to waste your time, you know, like watching the video, just seeing the, the, the progress here. So I think I'm going to pause the record for a while. And now the setup is almost done. It's asking us for permission to the firewall, so we're going to allow this. And after that, we have to create the admin user for Dream Factory. Well, it's done now. So 
let's go and create the admin user In the meantime, meantime, I'm going to start set up my SQL. So we're going to create them. I'm going to stop Gene, the admin user. Okay, we are in. So before we continue, we need to finish the setup of my SQL. So I'm going to go here. And we're going to set up my SQL server. I think it's going to install all those utilities, but I'm going to edit this out and pause the video and load when it's done, so you don't have to wait for it to finish. Well, we are back. So <clears throat> in this case, we're going to use development machine and we're going to change the port because this port is already taken by Dream Factory. It says an instance of MariaDB that is the same as MySQL and it's working on the default port that is 3306 so we're going to use 3307 and we're going to set up a password that is 1 through 9 and we're going to leave the default service name as it is and finish. And then I didn't want the samples, but anyways, what we need is a working instance of my SQL.
now we're done. So let's go back to the factory. In here, we already have an admin setup. So what we need to add is a service. We're going to add a service. We're going to create a new service. Uh, the service type, I don't know why it's not loading it. There is. This computer is really slow right now. I think this virtual machine is slow somehow. So we're going to add a SQL DB. We're going to name this my SQL. And I'm going to use the same for the label and for the description. In the configuration, the driver is my SQL. I'm going to change this to port 2307. The database name. Let's see what we have here. We're going to use world for this case. The username is root and the password we set up. And we're going to lock it only to the default schema, but since we're going to use root, it's going to show all the schemas that where the root have permissions. And that's pretty much it, I believe. So we're going to create the service. Oops. Oh, this, that name already exists, so we're going to use a different name. Done. We have, already have it. So now if we go to the API docs, it's supposed to show here. So let's go and click over it and it's going to take a while, but it's going to expand the operations. In this case, we're going to try to get all the tables. Or let's, this is the schemas or schema, I don't know how to pronounce that. So we're going to try it out. And it shows Siri country and language. And that's the same that we have here, I believe. Yes, it is. So now let's go to create an app. In this case, since I'm doing this for a friend, I'm going to create the app that is he's going he's building, and that's the invoice app. For description, I'm going to put the same. I'm not going to select the role because I don't have any role created and he's going to connect as an admin. And let's make it active. And there is no storage required because this is for the SDK. So there is no application that lives within the factory. And that's it. So let's go to manage. And now we have the invoice up here. And this is the API key that you use for the SDK. This is the value that you will put on the app name. And you have to log with the credentials you create for the admin users. So if you go to admin, you'll see that you have this user and the password you set up for this user. And that's pretty much it. Since this user is an admin, is able to, to connect to all the services. And we already checked that the service is working on the API docs section. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and you can contact me in any way. I've been, you know, trying to do all the tests that I can with Dream Factory. I believe it's a great idea and I'm looking forward to, to create more apps and demos using their backends. So thanks for watching. And if you need to contact me, you can leave a comment on this comment section of this video. Thanks.